What's going on everybody and welcome back to the channel. I'm Jordan Wheeler with RTR Vehicles and in today's video we're installing the RTR pedal kit for your manual 2011 and up Ford Mustang. Inside your box you'll find your RTR QR card that features the Packers signature, a QR code for the RTR instructions link, and a QR code that'll take you directly to rtrvehicles.com. By scanning the installation code, you will be taken straight to our instructions page. Select your vehicle, as well as your part, and you'll have full access to the installation guide. Behind this, you'll have your throttle pedal cover, brake and clutch pedal covers, brake and clutch pedal brackets, and your dead pedal. All made from cast aluminum with a satin chrome finish with a unique pill pattern that adds grip while you're on track or just cruising the streets. You'll also find your hardware kit, which includes eight M4 panhead screws, three trim clips, M8 panhead screw, and your washer. Tools needed for this job are T15 Torx bit, T25 Torx bit, T30 Torx bit, ratchet wrenches, and a panel removal tool. If replacing the gas pedal, you'll also need a deep well 10 millimeter socket. The RTR pedal kit is intended to be installed on vehicles equipped with the optional accelerator pedal with metal finish. New pedal assemblies can be special ordered from your local Ford dealer if needed. For 2015 and newer models, your vehicle is equipped with a dead man pedal. Remove this by prying up and off of the floor using your panel removal tool. Inspect the three mounting slots in the floor for any retention clips that may have remained in the vehicle. We will not be reusing these clips. For the brake and clutch pedal, the OEM pedal covers have no mechanical fasteners securing them to the pad of the arm. Using your panel removal tool, pry the pedal covers off of the pad. If replacing your gas pedal for the metal finish pedal, lift the red locking tab on your connector and unplug. Next, use your 10 millimeter deep well socket to remove the three nuts holding it in place. You can now remove the pedal and reverse these steps to reinstall its replacement. Use a T25 Torx driver to remove the screw from behind the pedal. Remove the cover and the screw from the pedal arm and set them aside. The OEM screw will not be reused for the RTR cover. Back over to the brake and clutch pedal, slide the cover retainer onto the back of the pedal pads. Using the supplied M4 screws, secure the retainer to the cover hand tight. Each pedal is grooved to recess the factory pedal. The retainers then mate to the RTR pedal cover for a secure fit. Once in place, using a T15 Torx driver, tighten the eight screws and torque to 12 inch pounds. For the accelerator pedal, secure the RTR cover to the pedal arm using the supplied M6 panhead screw and washer. Using a T30 Torx driver, tighten the screw and torque the screw to 36 inch pounds. Finally, for 2015 and newer models, push the three supplied retention clips onto the rectangular studs of the dead man pedal. Align the rectangular studs with the slots in the vehicle floor and snap the dead pedal in place. Your installation is now complete and you're ready to put these pedals to the floor. Thank you so much for tuning in to today's video. I hope you found it useful in the installation of your product. If you like this or any of the other offerings that we have at rtrvehicles.com, make sure to scan that QR code that came with your part or head over to rtrvehicles.com to check out anything that we have available for Mustang, Ranger, Bronco, Bronco Sport, F-150, Maverick, or Mach-E. And while you're over there, make sure to check out our full line of merch as well as our new car care line, which includes all purpose cleaners, wheel and tire, interior, and a quick detailer to get your vehicle looking right for the weekend. As always, I'm Jordan Wheeler with RTR Vehicles, getting you guys geared up and ready to rock. Woo!